Well, well, looky here. Is that you? It is you. Hello there, you. You're there, I'm here. And um, John Tobacco has departed the studios to head to his son's baseball game. I am his alter ego, John Cronkite, and I'm here to correct the compendium of mistakes that John engaged in during today's show. Um, certainly, um, John was railing against uh, Rashida Tlaib and Ex Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Ilan Omar. And uh, I believe my colleague, Mr. Tobacco, who uh, tends to not be so careful with the facts, uh, Mr. Tobacco noted that um, Ilan Omar was wearing a burqa when, in fact, um, she was uh, pictured with a purple scarf over her head. And uh, the proper term for all of our friends in the Muslim audience and those who are observing of Islam, uh, that is a hijab, not a burqa. And Mr. Tobacco was dead wrong on that one. Um, dead wrong as well um, when he called uh, one of his guests, uh, Mr. Dylan Howard, a quite the fine uh, investigative reporter, um, he called him out on the Clinton cartel, killing Jeffrey Epstein, and um, there is absolutely no evidence whatsoever that the Clintons had anything to do with uh, the death of Jeffrey Epstein, although uh, I do not believe that uh, Jeffrey Epstein killed himself, and I do agree with Mr. Tobacco on that. He's still alive. Um, I am having quite the good time today. I uh, typically report the news quite straight, I'm a liberal, I have a stick up my butt, and um, John Tobacco left this here, a martini, which is quite egregious when it comes to news reporting. We cannot show ourselves to be under the influence because then we can't be objective. But in any event, I will slug it down. Ooh, it's quite delicious. Now I can understand why he drinks during the show. And, uh... Now that I've drank it, I think John is back. Oh. Oh. Hey. How are you? All right. Anyway, I'm playing around all day today because I'm mocking some news executives who think that I'm just not, um, you know, I can't play it straight. I have to be wacky John all the time. But meantime, most of my audience, and I'm getting hit up all over today, Facebook, people are texting me saying, get rid of John Cronkite and bring back John Tobacco. So, um... Do you know the song uh, from Kanye and Nico that I was referring to, Runaway? You don't know it. I don't know it off the top of my head, but I know you're full of 90s rap references, so I, I assume. I, I am. And, you know, I used one of my uh, favorite terms on Joe Pignon before, but, you know, Jay-Z's line, even though I can't stand Jay-Z anymore, um, the line, I'm not a businessman, I'm a business man yeah. is one of my it's favorites classics yeah. it is it's one of my favorites uh runaway kanye and if you never heard this song because it wasn't a big song um but if you hear it you're gonna die laughing I'm, let me see let me see if i could play it um let me see if i could play it this is this is kanye's anthem to the left wing okay um what is Jess saying over there? Jess? Careful of profanity. That's what Jess yeah, is saying. Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's any profanity in this particular song. I'm going to just play it in the background. But this is kind I think this is going to be like his campaign song when he comes out on the stage. Um, let's see. This is Kanye West in um, one of his lesser known songs called Runaway. Oh, I do know this song. Nearing 15 seconds. What? We're nearing 15 seconds. We can only play 15 seconds. Oh. Copyright. Well, we can only play 15 seconds without copyright privileges, so let me pause for one moment here because we don't want to break any FCC violations. And now we'll start again. <laughs> no, I mean, that we can do. There's a big instrumental here. You think this is going to be his campaign song? I think it's going to be, you know, if you don't know the song, the main verse is, let's hear it for the Massingills. 
You know, it's like, uh, you know, he's referring to people as D-bags, which is kind of funny. And I think, you know, we're seeing more and more every day that the uh, left-wing media is a real big pack of uh, D-bags. And, um, you know, one of my favorite uh, Ds is um, Donnie Deutsch. I want to say it just a little different than that, but I can't because I'll get in trouble. But, um... Scott Miller, our CEO, is on vacation, so I, if I did slip in a dirty word, he probably would flip out on me, but he's, uh, he's resting comfortably on a beach somewhere, and um, he's given me a tremendous opportunity here, so I don't want to screw with it. But, you know, Kanye, um, if you ask me, and, uh, you know, I have been a, uh, as I've mentioned many times, I'm a, I'm a uh, political uh, disciple of Roger Stone's theory, um, that, you know, one, one man's, uh, you know, Roger Stone believes that, uh, you know, political discourse is good in any way and, you know, bad press is no better than no press. And one of Roger's famous lines is it's, if it's better if they're talking bad about you than if they're not talking about you at all. And um, this wax smells of a uh, great uh, stone-like piece of trickery to put a uh, pop culture icon, Kanye West, on the ballot in as many states as possible, and hopefully young people who are behind the Bernie Sanders movement who want to protest vote, they'll vote for Kanye. And uh, African-American people who understand what's happening, and they're like, well, I don't want to get shamed in my community and say I voted for Trump, so I'll vote for Kanye. Um, and the vote for Kanye is like two votes for Trump. Because what the establishment like Barack Obama and the Clintonistas and the Clinton cartel and all the institutionalists, the pedophile podestas, um, all, what all of them want is they want all black people to be so scared of Donald Trump that they vote for Joe Biden, or at least they don't vote for anyone. So um, getting them out and a vote for Kanye um, is a vote that they didn't expect uh, to go to Kanye, they hoped it went to them, or I hoped it went to no one, but it's actually a minus and a plus, which is big. And um, I want to uh, thank you for tuning in today. I hope the news, was the booze, was brought to you uh, well. I want to thank Jess for doing a great job on the switch today, and I want to thank Nico for doing absolutely nothing today. <laughs> and um, we will join you tomorrow at the same bat time and the same bat channel for more news. I'm John Cronkite. <laughs> <laughs>